Well, hello, hello. Good Sunday evening. Come on in, come on in. This will be a very, very short uh Oh wow. I'm trying to stop it. This will be a very short scope. The beginning of a scope series. Holiday prayers and hope. Prayers for the holiday. For those, specifically for those that will be facing the holiday season, separated from their loved ones. Usually during the holiday season, it is the toughest time of the year for those that. Uh, Loved ones are no longer with them. For many, the first time uh, that they will be facing the holidays without their loved ones. And so my heart is passionate for them. Uh, because I understand, I know how difficult it can be. I know how difficult it can be facing the holiday season without your loved one, especially for the first time. Uh, perhaps after the first, the second, or third, or fourth, really, you can't put a time frame on it. But I do know that um, it gets easier. It gets easier, and nobody can set a time frame to say uh, when it gets easier. Uh, so, but we do want to encourage you and to uh, let you know that you are not alone. Well, you might say, well, how do I know I'm not alone? The simple fact that God has laid it upon my heart to do these scopes uh, specifically for those that are in bereavement, those that are grieving the loss, it lets you know that he cares and he is concerned about you and he wants to comfort you and carry you through uh, this season. Uh, it is, like I said, it is during the holiday season that we battle the most with past memories, uh, even of broken relationships, perhaps facing uh, the holiday season uh, after a breakup, a relationship or even difficulty facing the holiday season uh, because of past failures and mistakes and betrayal and loneliness and rejection. There is so much that's going on in life at this particular time. There are so many challenges that people are facing. Uh, and it, it's like usually uh, during this time of the year, it's like you have so many deaths and so many accidents and so many occurrences and so many tragedies and just so much is going on. And so there's the tendency uh, to feel, hallelujah, to feel like you can't take it. You are just overwhelmed. And so we want to be of encouragement to those persons today. So we ask that you will you will share the broadcast. You will share it with others. Perhaps someone that you know, somebody that you know is facing difficulties during this holiday season. Somebody that you know uh, have lost a loved one. Somebody that you know, if not yourself, that's facing uh, difficulties and hardships. We want to uh, encourage them. So we ask you to invite someone, uh, share the broadcast. Because we are concerned about those. We want to encourage you and to let you know that there is hope. Whatever you're facing during this holiday season, there is hope. And somebody cares. You are not alone. You are not alone. 
as hard as it may be to face this holiday season without your loved one, you are not alone. God cares. And the passage of scripture that I want to share with you is Psalm 34 and verse 18. And it says, the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. Hallelujah. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart. I know it may not seem like he's near. It may not seem like he cares. But the very fact that he's laid it on my heart to reach out to those, to share with you, and to pray for you so that you will have the strength and receive the peace and the comfort that you need to get through this season, which may be the most difficult time in your life. But I want you to know that God is near. And how do we know he's near? Because he places it up on the heart of those to comfort you, to share with you, to encourage you, and to let you know that he cares for you. The scripture says the Lord is near to those who have a broken heart heart. So whatever you're facing this holiday season, it may be the loss of a loved one, it may be a broken relationship, whatever it may be. If your heart is broken, hallelujah, God cares and he is near. I know it for a fact because as I said earlier, I have experienced it. So I know how hard it can be, especially to face your first Christmas or your first New Year separated from that person that you love dearly. So we want you to know that and we want to pray for you and to let you know that God cares. He is near. Whatever reason, whatever pain that you're facing, whatever heartbreak that you're facing this holiday season, there is hope. There is hope, and that hope is in Jesus Christ. He cares. He wants you to know that he is near, and he is available to carry you through it. I want to offer to you some recommendations, some practical things that can help you to make it through this difficult season that you're facing. Um, first of all, it is so easy, it is so easy to think on uh, the pain. It is not denying that the pain is not there. Yes, the pain is there. The hurt is there. But we don't want to focus on that. Perhaps focus or think on God's provision for the past. For example, you are here today, and I know because you are alive, you have faced some challenges in the past. Yeah, you have. Maybe not as hard as what you're facing now, but whatever you have gone through already, think about how God carried you through that, how he brought you through that, and where you are today. Because he helped you to get where you are today. You survived the past. You will survive this too. But you do not want to focus and dwell on it. So often, because of the pain of separation, specifically for uh, the death of a loved one and having to face the holiday season without that person, you will, look, you will tend to Remember how perhaps your last holiday season or you just your mind will just go back and you'll begin to just rehearse in your mind uh, when that person was with you. And that's and that's OK. But pull from that the good memories. Try to think of something, the fun times that you can laugh about and those memories that will bring laughter instead of sadness and, and bringing you to a point that you just totally, uh, you totally just go into depression. So focus on 
on the good things, the laughter. And not only that, but uh, praise and thank God for where you are now. This is especially good if you're facing uh, broken relationships. Um, say you had a breakup, your uh, divorce, or uh, marital relationships, or any type of relationship that's no longer intact. So praise God and thank God for where you are now, even though it is not where you want to be. Still, praise God and thank God and focus on where God wants you to be, where he's taken you, because where you are now, where we are now, your now is not your next. God always has better. He always has a plan to bring you to a better place until you reach that place that he has destined for you. And not only that, the third thing you want to do is prayerfully examine your heart. Prayerfully examine your heart and think about that person that you're missing. Would they want you to be all down and depressed and sad? Is that, do you think that's what they would want for you at this time? No, they want you to continue to go on, to live on. Now, yes, we go through a grieving process. We go through a grieving process. But the thing is, you do not get stuck in that grieving process. It takes time. And as I said, usually the holiday season is the most difficult time but you will get through it. You can get through it with taking some practical steps and some spiritual steps. Make a list. Make a list of God's goodness. Make a list how God has provided for you. Think about how God has protected you. Think about those situations that you have been in and the dangers that could have been Worse that could have been otherwise and say, God kept me. And for that, you can be thankful. Meditate on God's word. This is so important. This is really key. Meditating on God's word. Uh, some scriptures that I want to share with you. The first one I already gave you, Psalm 34 and 18. Also, uh, Psalm 147 and verse 3, uh, Psalm 68 and 19. Really, the Psalms are great places in Scripture to meditate on God's Word because you'll find what the psalmist writes about or his experiences. And uh, most of the Psalms are David. And David was a worshiper and a praiser. And so that's how he got through some of the most difficult times in his life, through praise and worship. Use a journal. Start journaling. Journaling your, your, your thoughts and your feelings. Begin there also as you meditate on the word of God. And you might have some thoughts that are not so good. Anyway, write them down. Why do I say that? Because God knows your thoughts anyway. He knows your thoughts even before you think them. I know that's kind of complex, but yeah, he knows your thoughts. So it's not like you're hiding anything from God. He knows how you feel. But what it does is it helps you to process. It helps you to process and go through those feelings. Write those feelings down. Express those feelings. It's okay to say, Lord, I'm angry. Lord, I hurt. He knows it. So be honest with him. But once you are honest with him and let and say out of your mouth how you feel, then you allow him to minister to you through his word. I find that he will drop scriptures in your spirit. And even sometimes when you, uh, when you go to bed at night, think about, 
Think about the goodness of the Lord. Think about, think on the word of God. Read the scripture before you go to bed at night. These are things that will help you get through these difficult times during this holiday season. Another scripture, uh, Psalm 77 and 11. And of course, Isaiah 26 and 3. He will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee, on the Lord. Of course, your mind is going to be full of the person that that you're not, you're separated from or what, whatever is going on. But try to refocus and think, redirect your thoughts toward God and the word of God. And Philippians 4 and 8, we have the list. I call it the formula for how to redirect your thoughts. Uh, selective thinking. You can decide what you're going to think on. You can make up in your mind what you're going to think on. No, I'm not telling you, don't think about your loved one. God forbid. Yeah, think about them. But thank God there is something that you can be thankful for. Thank God. Remember the good times, those times of laughter, and find yourself laughing. Laughter is good. It is like a medicine. So it will help you. And before you know it, you'll be through it. The holiday will have come and gone. And you'll be amazed at how God helped you to get through it. I'm a witness. I know. I know it's painful. I know it hurts. Yes. It hurts. I can feel your pain. I can feel your hurt. But you will get through it. The Lord is near you. He's near you. He's there with you. Jesus knows about pain. He is our high priest. He suffered pain. He, he knows pain. He understands pain. He understands emotional pain. He understands relational pain in terms of being broken relationships. He understands physical pain. So whatever type of pain that you're going through, that you're facing during this holiday season, Jesus understands. He understands emotional pain, being betrayed being hurt by those that were following him. And at the time when he needed the support, they ran. He understands betrayal. He knows about being betrayed, rejected. He understands physical pain, yes, because of the beating and all that he went through. He understands. And so he wants you to know that he loves you and he cares for you. God is the God of all comfort. And yes, once he brings you through this difficult season, this difficult time facing the holidays, once he brings you through, then guess what? You will be able to tell somebody else what he did for you. And because you can be a witness and say, he brought me through it, He'll do it for you. That's where I am today. Because he brought me through it. He will do the same for you. Because he's laid it upon my heart to share with you. And to pray with you. And for you. To let you know that he cares. And he is near. So let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so very much. We thank you for extending to us the opportunity and the privilege to come to you boldly in confidence. We can come boldly to the throne of grace to obtain mercy and find favor in our time of need. And Father, this is a time of need. A need to feel your presence, to experience your peace, 
to get through the difficult times during this holiday season as we prepare to celebrate your birth. Father, you understand and you know how hard it is. Emotions are all over the place. The pain of separation seems unbearable. You know. And so, Father, I pray for those persons now that feel like at this very moment they can't make it. They don't want to make it because they're in such pain and they're so they're hurting so bad because of the death of loved ones, all the tragedies of life, the challenges of life. Father, you know, and it is because you know and you understand, and Jesus is our chief intercessor. We come to you, and we thank you for that privilege. We thank you for that opportunity that you have extended. We thank you, Father, and we ask you now that wherever the persons are that are grieving, that are hurting, that are in pain, that are so heartbroken, we pray for a release of your Holy Presence, your Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. We pray for your, your peace that surpasses all understanding to guard their hearts and their minds. We pray that you would be with them that they will feel your presence and without a shadow of a doubt, know that you are near. Your word says that you are close to, you are near those who are of a broken heart. And there are so many, Father, that are broken hearted. And so we pray that they experience your closeness in this time. We pray, Lord God, that even angels are dispatched, hallelujah, to give them messages of hope so that they would know that you are near. I pray in the name of Jesus for your presence. I pray for your presence, hallelujah, and that they embrace your presence. I pray, Father, hallelujah, for their strength. I ask in the name of Jesus that as they remember and they reflect on the life of their loved ones that are no longer here in this earth realm, that you would remind them Bring to their remembrance something that that loved one may have said. Hallelujah. That can give them strength and courage to go on. So often, those that are in Christ, they can sense when it's their time to come home with you. And perhaps so often, they say things to their family members to let them know. So I pray that those words that have been spoken to you by your people that you call home, that those words will ring in the ears of those family members and those loved ones that are left behind, that will give them strength and will give them courage and even joy and laughter that, will, that they can go on and let you carry them through this grieving process during this holiday season. Thank you, Father. I thank you for laying it up on my heart and giving me this burden. I thank you, Father, that it is evident that you care because you laid it up on my heart for these scopes holiday prayers, and hope during this holiday season. You are good. Hallelujah. You are long-suffering. You are compassionate. And you care about your people, all people. And for that, we say thank you. 
Thank you so very much. Thank you for your presence. And again, I pray that you would hold them. Let them know that you care. Let them know that you are near. According to your word in Psalm 34 and 18, you are close to, you are near those who have a broken heart. Thank you, Lord. Mend their broken hearts. Heal them. In Jesus' name I ask, and we will give you praise, honor, and glory. Let them receive this. Receive healing. Receive wholeness. Carry them through the process and bring them to the place that you have already purposed for their lives. We thank you so very much, and we give you praise, honor, and glory. You are our God, and we worship you. We worship you in spirit and in truth. You are good, and we thank you, and we give you praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, this is our scope, uh, day one. We'll come again with day two and share with you uh, concerning uh, brokenhearted, and facing this difficult time in the holiday during the holidays because of the death of a loved one or broken relationships or whatever is going on, feeling lonely, hallelujah, feeling hopeless. There is hope, and our hope is in Jesus Christ. He is the hope of glory. And whatever you face in this life, whatever it is that caused your heart to be broken, know that God is near and he is close to you and he wants to rescue you. He wants to heal your broken heart so that you can move on and you can be an agent to help somebody else. Until our next scope, God bless you. <music>